हाय गाइस वेलकम टू माय साइट को डायरीज योर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सीलेंस दिस इज आर हेडलेस वेबसाइट सीरीज एंड आई गिव यू अ वॉक थ्रू दिस इज पार्ट टू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील सी रिएक्ट एप क्रिएशन एंड सेटअप दिस इज योर होस्ट जितेंद्र गानेकर साइट को टेक्नोलॉजी एम वी पी ट्वेंटी फोर इज अ टेक्निकल आर्किटेक्ट and this is me nikhil bidhudi i'm a site core certified developer with a expertise in site core headless development till now we have seen the prerequisite required for site core headless development packages required we installed some packages in the previous video we did the headless site creation and we made the basic headless website in the previous video in this video we'll see the prerequisites required for react app creation that is essential for front end development so we'll create a react app in this video we'll set up that app for connected mode and we'll we'll set up that app for integrated mode so by the end of this video our site will be ready without the components and the data so now let's move to the demo I'll share my screen quickly, and we'll do the setup. Let's start, guys. We'll first install the prerequisite required for React app creation, and that is Node.js. So we'll start Node.js download pre-built installer. We will download this one. Node.js. It is required to run the React app in your system. So. I have already installed it. You download this one. Another thing is Git. This is a optional download. It is not required, but I would recommend it because we will need it further in the video. So I I request you guys to download it. So these two are the prerequisites. So once done, we'll move to our React app creation. Let's start with the React app creation. We'll go to PowerShell, run as admin. We'll go to our folder where you want to create the React app. Then you have to install Sitecore JSS CLI, and this G means globally. Once this is done, we'll move next to create a React app, and the command for it npx create site core JSS, and then our technology name. So for today, we'll choose React. Center. so it needs to install the following package it is asking for permission yes it is asking where i would like to create my new app so i'll go with d drive or i can choose the same path so d drive my site code diaries then react folder it is asking would you like to use the pre push hook for linting check the answer is yes it would fail if you didn't download the git that is a prerequisite for using this so uh, if you downloaded this you can choose yes if you not downloaded the git download it or you can choose no here it is required as the javascript app and the react app required linking check so it is recommended react app name 
uh, it will be my site core diaries or you can choose that site code demo i'll choose site code demo site code demo so host name of my site core application i'll just copy this site core mvp sc dot dev dot local this is my local host name how we would like to fetch layout and dictionary data so we will choose rest apis any additional language uh, we can go for enca or any other you want or you can skip this step too this will now install the react package it is getting installed So this is now done. Now we will see connected mode. So we will configure our React app for connected mode. So the command for it is JSS setup. Okay. So uh, I am inside this folder and my react app is inside this folder. So now I'll run JSS setup. So it is asking if my site core instance is there an accessible so by mistakenly i i typed t it should be y so i guess uh, that particular entry will be not uh, there so my site core host name it is asking for i'll put my site core host name port service or api key so i uh, in the previous video we have already created the api key we'll use the same key we'll go to uh, settings services api key this is the api key we'll use this one deployment secret is enter so these settings are now saved to my scjss config.json and uh, and my my config is also ready so guys now we have to open vs code and open our react app inside it so this is our react app and we have this file scjss config.json so one of my typo mistake i type t instead of yes while doing the jss setup so my this field instance path field is empty we'll manually put it there i have go to my instance copy the path i'll put it there path i put the slashes and we are good now 
Guys, as you know that we are using SXA, so we have to change our configs to that will be deployed to site core. So site core config and site core demo dot config. So this is our config now. This is our site core uh, JSS registration. This is our app registration. So as you can see, uh, this is our JavaScript app registration and this is our site registration. So uh, we are using SXA, we don't need this. So we'll just take this comment and we'll put it here. So we will comment this thing. Now we'll go to our this site code demo app name is correct site core path so this path is not correct we'll go to the correct path this is our app name we'll just copy the path update here site core path and now we are good so what we have to do we have to go to powershell we can do JSS deploy and it will deploy our config to site code. So we'll use JSS deploy config. As you can see, we have got all the commands. So we can use JSS deploy config. It will deploy our config to site core app config include ZZZ folder. So as you can see, it has deployed to our instance. So now we are ready. JSS start connected. So as you can see now, the React app is up and running. We'll check if it is connected to Sitecore or not. We'll go to Network tab, reload this. We can see Dictionary service also and Layout service also. So this is the Layout service URL and this is the Dictionary service URL. So this confirms that we are in connected mode running and taking a live data from Sitecore. So the configurations for uh, connected mode is now done. Now we will set up our site for production mode that is integrated mode. So for production mode, we have two type of modes, headless mode and integrated mode. So we will uh, configure our environment for integrated mode now. For integrated mode, we will go to headless tenant, site code demo, site grouping, this item, site code demo item. So this is a site grouping item. So we already have a site name here. Then we'll put the target host name. The target host name is this one. Or any other host name that you want to keep. This is the host name. Now, if you want to put any other properties, a database is master. So we will create one more if you want to use web database. This is done now. So guys, now we will create our build to be deployed into site core. So for that, we'll go to our react app. We have dot env file here. We have to update it with the respective uh, data that is API key and other host names. So I'll put the API key here. It's asking for host name. I'll put the host name. I put the host name. I put the site name as site core demo. I put language as en. That's it. 
now we will make a build JSS build. So it is making a production build for us to be deployed into site core or in headless mode. It is a uh, React build, React artifacts to be deployed. You can see it is a production build. So we have to, to host it at dist site code demo. We have to deploy it here. It is now done. We see this build folder. We have the all files ready now. We'll take the files and copy it into our site core instance. Now I'm inside my site core instance. We have this dist folder. You see, this is my site core instance. We have this dist folder. I'll create one folder here as site core demo. I'll deploy the build here. Now I'll go to my site core page, reload it. So now we'll copy the host name, paste it here. Now you can see the React app is loading inside of Sidecore also. So now we have configured connected mode and now we have configured integrated mode. So we are fully ready for development and for testing also. So this will be used for development and this will be used for testing. So guys, in the upcoming video, we'll see the creation of templates, data items and renderings in Sitecore and we'll see component creation in React and we'll make the same MVC site that is shown in the previous videos in Headless. Thank you everyone. I hope this session would be helpful if you have any doubts post in the comments or you can mail us in the given ID. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.